Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be doing my first trailer breakdown for the season. We're going to be talking about Episode 2, so they just released this after last night's episode. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this is my first trailer breakdown of the new season. Obviously, we're going to be doing them every day right after the reviews so it goes up just later in the day but this trailer is especially exciting because it starts off where we left last episode with Kara in the Phantom Zone that is the whole focus of this trailer and that is super exciting because I think this is the best angle that they could have gone with I can't tell you how glad I am that they're actually shooting new scenes and actually giving Kara a proper storyline even with Melissa not being able to be there all the time and not doing what they did in season 4 with just like Melissa doing close-up shots inside the mechanical Supergirl suit like I'm so glad we're actually seeing her in person she's in a whole new place obviously where we left off Lex shot her into the Phantom Zone and so that is Kara's storyline for like the first six or seven episodes she's gonna be stuck there Team Supergirl is going to be following along with that storyline because basically if you guys didn't know they planned this they knew Melissa would be on maternity leave. They knew well in advance that they would have to go back and shoot extra stuff with Melissa, but they would shoot the stuff already to match what they were going to film after in January. So I think this is really smart because, you know, you have the whole storyline with Team Supergirl excluding Supergirl, and they are literally following along with this Phantom Zone storyline. So it's a big thing, and this is a great way to separate Melissa from the rest of the cast because she actually wasn't there when they were filming the majority of say episode 2 back in like October November time but instead she filmed her stuff in January so if you guys didn't know she had a whole month where she was shooting these Phantom Zone scenes so I'm really excited about the storyline if you guys couldn't tell so without further ado let's go ahead and break down this trailer so the first shot of the trailer we see Melissa as Supergirl lying on the ground where we left her off in the phantom zone so she's just been sent through she lands in this place and this is where the shot starts also it must be mentioned the supergirl showrunners actually acknowledged the phantom zone storyline in an interview saying that kara's time i think she was there for two decades in the phantom zone before was very different from what she's gonna go through now because when she was back there all those many years ago she was protected by her pod she was safe and she didn't have any of the actual phantoms of the phantom zone where it gets its name from but this time she is out she is exposed and she's going to be trying to survive with inside the phantom zone and so you're actually going to see those literal phantoms which we saw at the end of the episode and these phantoms really really excite me because there's a bunch of them in the trailer we know she has been surrounded by them at the end of last episode. I think it's a great concept that rather than being stuck in space, she's actually in this barren landscape and she's surrounded by literal phantoms and she has to survive. I think it's a great angle to go for and I really commend them for all of this. So yeah, we cut to the next shot. We see Supergirl on the ground and so they made this really cool set. It looks really great with the lighting kind of shimmering and Supergirl is just lying there knocked out and these phantoms are approaching. We cut to a shot of one of the phantoms from Supergirl's perspective and they are approaching her and so they look really scary and it does remind me of you guys remember when Samantha had those rain visions back in season 3 and you had like flashes of like demonic versions of characters. This is totally what it reminds me of. And I love that angle where Supergirl goes more into the horror aspect. And so that is one of the main reasons why I'm really excited about the Phantom Zone storyline. We go over and we see Supergirl here. So this is actually new footage. Also, it must be noted, she doesn't have her hair that she has in episode one. I don't know how they'll explain it, but Melissa has no bangs. This is her new hair. This is the original style. So, you know, the season one, two and three style. And so that's very exciting to see. This is our first good look at her. And it really feels classic Supergirl. So I think that's a really nice touch for the final season. Obviously, it's like a personal decision for Melissa. But I think it's great and it definitely serves the story. And so in the voiceover narration, Brainy talks about the Phantom Zone is unlike any environment you've ever experienced. 
I guess he's probably not talking to Supergirl. I think he's talking to Team Supergirl, probably Alex in specific, because Brainy out of anyone probably has like the most knowledge about the Phantom Zone because this is going to be a whole big thing. They're going to try and get Supergirl the Phantom Zone. But with this shot of Kara in the Phantom Zone in this kind of cave, I don't know if it's like a slightly different location. Like, has she got away from those Phantoms? She's actually talking. She says, I'm going to do everything I can to escape. And it seems like she is definitely talking to someone. So is it someone in the Phantom Zone? Or my theory is she might have found a way or Team Supergirl has found out a way to contact the Phantom Zone, to contact her there. And what happens if she's saying that to Team Supergirl? I think that would be a great reassurance for Team Supergirl to know that she's alive, she's safe, and she's going to try and escape. Okay, so let's move on to the next shot. You get a Phantom Zone portal. It seems Team Supergirl has built this inside the tower because they're going to be trying to get her back frantically like they need her back really bad and so i think this is gonna come with some big backlash because i think they're gonna be kind of like the main villains maybe for part of the season that being the phantom zone as a whole because it's definitely focused so much on kara being stuck there and getting super go out that i reckon the phantoms which we're gonna cut to in a minute just after this portal opens and you see alex and jean looking up and they're like what is coming through this portal well, you get to see in one extra shot later, it's actually one of the phantoms. And so you see him right here. I think they look really great. They look really scary. And so somehow one has escaped and has gone through that portal that Team Supergirl probably made for Kara to escape. So instead of her coming through, this person is coming through. And so that is extremely scary and very exciting. So I definitely think Team Supergirl is going to have some sort of contact with Kara inside the Phantom Zone. And Nia is going to be helping out as you can see from a couple of these shots. We get another shot of one of the Phantoms attacking Kara. I think it's the same one as the shot earlier. He's just a bit closer. And so you got Kelly comforting Alex saying that we will save Supergirl. So you can just tell that everyone is full steam ahead trying to get into the Phantom Zone. While Supergirl herself gets attacked and it seems like she is being possessed. Now, why do I say this? Well, you see this shot right here. She's inside the Phantom Zone and her eyes are glowing white. It seems like maybe these creatures, these actual phantoms, have some sort of power and they can take over beings with inside there. You cut to the next shot, you've got Kara again there and she is freaking out. Like I said, I think someone is trying to get inside her head and she's being affected and I think the more time she spends there, the more she's going to be affected by the Phantom Zone as a whole, especially being exposed, like just walking around and everything. Okay, so we get this really cool shot of Supergirl is from a canted angle, so it's from a different perspective. Normally shots like this are used to emphasize like fear and emotions like that. Also, it's associated with horror films, and it seems like what Kara is facing in there is almost like a horror film. Okay, so we get Nia, she's using her powers. Seems like she's going to be a big part in trying to reach Kara and actually communicate with her. And from the trailer, it seems like we're gonna get like a big chunk of Kara in this episode, which is very, very exciting because we are all kind of scared. Is she not gonna show up for like half the episode? Well, from this trailer, there is a lot of new footage and you're just gonna get both sides of it. And I think it's exciting that they're going down this whole storyline. And this is definitely gonna lead on to when Supergirl actually escapes the Phantom Zone, because we're gonna cover this in an upcoming video. But over the last few days, they've been shooting some stuff and Mr. Mitzius Pitalik is back. In the set photos, Alex is using a Phantom Zone projector. They are strapped up to some sort of metallic alien objects. So it seems like the Phantom Zone storyline is going to continue for like half the season. But that video breaking down those new set photos will be coming out this Friday because tomorrow we have the live stream at 9pm UK time, which is 4pm Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so let's move on. We get this really cool shot of Kara in her Supergirl suit. Obviously, Melissa's got no bangs. She's got the classic hairstyle, and I think it is a really great combo because it's very nostalgic seeing her normal hair, but also at the same time, you've got her new suit, and I think this is just really exciting to see this kind of mix because we've never seen it before, and yeah, I guess as Supergirl fans, we're just excited to see more footage of Melissa as Supergirl. Okay, so yeah, she is lying down here on the ground. Seems like she is talking to someone, and so someone says there are things worse than that. And so is this the new ally that they've been teasing? Well, I don't think it's the alien guy. However, 
I've got a feeling this new ally is probably Zorel, and I think Kara is going to meet Zorel inside the Phantom Zone. So we know that Zorel is coming to the show. He is coming back. He has been recast. Jason Bear is playing him. You guys can go check out my video where I revealed the exclusive news that he has been cast as Zorel, Kara's father. And so it seems like she finds him in the Phantom Zone and they have a proper storyline. So it's not just Kara alone being attacked by these literal phantoms. Okay, so let's move on to the next shot. This is a closer look at Kara freaking out because her head is being impacted by these phantoms and, you know, just the phantom zone as a whole. I don't know if it's bad for her to stay there. Well, it seems like she's definitely getting heavily affected. As we cut to the next shot, and this is literally right where we left off, so Supergirl gets up and she's about to stand up and her eyes turn white, so she is being literally possessed by these phantoms and so this is one of my favorite shots and this gets me really excited and so it also seems like she tries to use her freeze breath or something comes out of her mouth it looks more like mist or fog but it seems like maybe her powers are actually altered and she probably doesn't have her normal powers because she doesn't have the yellow sun so with there being literally no sun in the phantom zone because it's like in a pocket of space that is completely isolated and dark she's gonna have no powers and it seems like she's going to be at the behest of these creatures, as you can see with her eyes literally turning white, like in a horror film when people get possessed. Okay, so let's move on to the final shot of the trailer. You get to see one of the Phantom's hands as they approach Kara, and so it seems like she's going to get out of this ambush, but it's going to be really close and it's going to be very scary, and that's it for the trailer. Hopefully you guys are hyped for episode 2, I really can't wait and I'm so glad they're going down the Phantom Zone route because I think it's actually really interesting and it's a great storyline. And it's definitely going to continue when Supergirl escapes, but as I just previously mentioned that video on the new set photos and set videos is going to come out this Friday, so in two days time. So be on the lookout for that, we're going to go into more detail about the Phantom Zone and what is happening this season on Supergirl and this whole storyline as a whole. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new. Remember, go check out my Supergirl review that came out earlier today and also my Flash review that came out a few hours just before this video went up. But for now, I'll catch you guys later and I'll see you tomorrow for my live stream and my Flash episode 6 trailer breakdown. Goodbye.